What's up guys? I'm Nick and this is Build Dad Bill. Now with 300% more lasers. That's right, the folks over at Sculpt Fund saw my review of the Ortur Laser Master 2 Pro and reached out and asked me if they could send me the Sculpt Fund S6 Pro. And I said, yeah, of course. So they sent me one out and uh, we're gonna take a look at it today. Hmm. That one was already cut open. All right, let's see. Let's see. Probably leave that out. I believe this is like a back plate or a focusing plate. I read it correctly. Yeah. There we go. Okay. Set that over here. Okay, so this does come with better instructions, it looks like. And the parts are well labeled, like this is left beam, right beam. Just uh, some nice things to, to not confuse the hell out of you. Now, what's gonna confuse the hell out of me is this is all in millimeters. I need to learn to measure things in millimeters. <laughs> but let me take everything out of the bags and then we'll get to assembling. So it looks like assembly is pretty much the same as the Ortur. So let's see what we're doing here. It's basically this little guy right here goes into the end here. So a lot of times you don't want to tighten these real tight just yet. And then two is the longest one. That's going to go in there. Oh. Well, this is gonna go so this guy is gonna go into this hole right here there we go so that's the reason you want to go too too tight with these just yet because this piece could be a little bent or something like that this guy's going right here so the other side goes together the same way right Next we're gonna slide the gantry on. Make sure the Sculpt Fun logo is facing forward. And this one's gonna assemble, the left side's gonna assemble the same way. The right side's gonna have the controller on it, but the bracket here is the same. So this belt, if you can see, has, here, I wanna focus, has little teeth on it. And so does this piece right here on the gantry. So this guy threads underneath the first wheel. So it's gonna be really hard to do one-handed. Underneath the first wheel. And once you get it up around that wheel, bring it over here again. Not so easy to do with one hand, but see that's gonna, that's what moves the belt. Or I mean, that's what moves the gantry. And then you feed this back down through here and make sure that those teeth are pulling. All right, next you're gonna drop a T-nut in the track. Then you're gonna put a screw in it, apply a little pressure and start turning. And basically I'm gonna take the laser module, I'm gonna screw these in through the back. This is how you're gonna adjust it up and down. And there's another one later there someplace. Okay, and the X and Y controllers are together on one arm or one cable, I guess. And they're pretty easy to, to see which one's which. This, these two are connected together that come out on the X. I believe this is X and this is Y. I should probably know that. And then your Y axis, I believe, is over here. And it just clicks in right here. Maybe it clicks in this way. There you go. All right, they only go in one way, so you know you didn't mess them up. Let me bring it over here. This is on this controller arm right there. And then of course, that's the top one, and that's the one that goes to the diode. Now this laser comes with a bunch of zip ties to zip tie your, your cables. It does suggest that you 
to this cable right here, which is a good idea. What I suggest is don't get overly crazy with your zip ties until you know what moves where. <laughs> a little deal here, what I would do, what I would suggest is zip tying this thing here. Let's see, where's that gonna move? So you wanna go, so before you zip tie anything, push it as far as it'll go out, right? So did you see that? This is all the way in that far corner, the controller box is over here, which tells me that's as far as it can go. And now I'm gonna take this and zip tie it over here. I would not go crazy on the zip ties until you've used it a couple times and see your pain points. But, well, aside from the fact that I can't get this to stay out of the corral here, um, that looks like it, guys. It looks like we are ready to laser some stuff. Okay, moment of truth time. If I turn this on and it homes, we assembled it correctly. It's not homing. Honestly, I'm not sure if it's supposed to home. Because it came on. All our connections are good. Let's hook it up to the computer. To be perfectly honest, I am really not familiar with uh, <laughs> uh, with laser gerbil. I've been using Lightburn, so just trying to figure out. Oh, oh. We are moving. All right, first we're gonna focus the laser with our billet. So basically just loosen those, loosen those two back screws. I'm gonna bring this down to sit, sit on there. Tighten one, tighten the other. Okay, so I'm gonna run a frame real quick just to make sure we're gonna be on there. It's over a little bit. Ooh, a little thunder. As close to the edge as possible so I can save some of this material. Okay. All right, so we've got this set at 90% power, 200% speed. Let's give her, let's give her a little go and see how she do. We're just gonna drop our speed down to 100. 100 millimeters per minute, 90% power. I was told to never run a diode at 100% power because it can shorten the life of the laser. I don't know if that's true or not, but here we go. Right, and it's kind of hard to tell in this light, but you got kind of a brown edge, not a black, which means it wasn't really just burning the crap out of it. So that's a pretty decent result, man. Get a little burning on the back, but I think the burning on the back is from this plate right here because if you look I think it's reflecting back up. All right guys so 200 millimeters per minute and 90 percent uh, didn't cut all the way through but it almost did. You can kind of see it right there in the back. I don't know if you can see it. there you go. Um, but we slowed it down to 100 millimeters per minute and bam right there. Focus. Okay, so now I just want to run the sculpt fun through uh, through its paces. I want to see how detailed they can get versus the orchard. So we're going to try to carve uh, one of these little guys, these these Aztec calendars that have all the the intricate little details in them. Now roll that beautiful bean footage, and by that roll the laser montage of the laser doing the things. guys thanks for sticking around to the end of the video and before we get to the results I'd like to give an extra special thanks to all of my patrons especially my Boilermaker patrons or my top tier patrons Stephen Mann, Eric Weiss, Chuck Faulkner, Derek Coates, Puffy Muffins, Zach Z, Jim Carter, and Andy the Viking. Clinkies to you. All right guys, let's check out these results. Okay, so here is that Aztec calendar, this little Star Wars version for you nerds out there. Um, and this is the Sculpt Fun on this side, and this is the Orchur. I know a lot of factors come, go into how they come up with the actual wattage of the laser. 
but I would say these are the same settings and the auteur is definitely burning a little darker and there's a little bit more texture here than there is here. Now, I'm sure you could adjust settings and get this to look more like this, but that's just the same settings. Okay, so next I did some tiles painted black and this turned out really well. Look at that detail. Ooh, scary. Um, this one was a little, I used a little bit more power in this one and got some more whites in there, but I kind of washed out the red. Now these are both on the sculpt fun. I did this on the Artur and at first you'd be like, wait man, like check that out. That looks like it's, it's, it's got more red in it. Well, that's, that is true, but look at the detail difference. I feel like the detail is better on the sculpt fun but you lose out in that, that red contrast. What do you think? But I kind of like both of these. I even took them to Instagram to see which one people like better and um, it was a 50-50 split between the two of them. Okay, and this is a different kind of uh, tile treatment. This is uh, called the Norton white tile method and this was on the Sculpt Fun and this is on the Auteur. And I gotta say, I like the Sculpt Fun better than I like the Auteur. I feel like there's better detail. I figure like there's, this has got you know, some better darks in it where this is kind of more washed out. So final thoughts on one versus the other. It's kind of a toss up, man. I like the Auteur for the limit switches because it, it knows when it hits an edge. Whereas with the Sculpt Fun, it doesn't have the limit switches. So you kind of have to manually adjust a little bit more. But I would say the instructions for how to put the the sculpt fun together are much clearer and I would say that I this base um, the structure of it feels like a little bit heavier duty um, I feel like this gantry is is more solid the Orchur definitely has uh, the flame detection and things like that so it does have some safety features that the sculpt fun doesn't but I would say all in all I mean you're, it, you're looking at some more bells and whistles on this, but it's, it's about a hundred bucks more. So, I mean, I hate to, I hate to be like that, but I kind of like them both. I, I can't find a whole lot of flaws other than, like I said, the manual adjustment of this one, but I mean, it's not, that, that's not a deal breaker for me. Definitely dig the machine. I was surprised at some of the detail that I got out of it, really. So I, I don't know if I would consider it more powerful than the Orcher, but you know, that still looks, flipping really good. So, see the family resemblance? <laughs> so, I mean, I would say if you're looking for a really, really budget laser, uh, Skull Fun is a, is a way to go. If you want a couple more bells and whistles or you're a little bit less, I guess, hands on with your tools, you might want to go with the Orchur. All right, guys, if you like this video, hit that like button. If you have not subscribed, please subscribe. It really helps me out. Until next time, thanks for playing. Now I got to get to work. How Stop. Drop. Something, something rough riders and go. Whoa. I don't know what I did with the piece that he just had. Just had it. Just had it. And before we get to the results, I'd like to give an extra. <clears throat> extra.